Welcome to the noisy quad, Jewish quarter now. There are a few students here. And it's left for them, it's a holiday, they're not working. They're not uh, studying, then in that case it's a holy, 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 holy of fun. And uh, you, what you can actually see is the card or the main street from south to north at the time of the Romans. We are talking about 6th century. Um, shops and the sidewalk, that's where the children are walking and the columns actually carried a roof that hide them the sidewalk from the rain the snow and the heat and those two three are actually walking on the road for carriages the jewish quarter is totally new mainly because it's been destroyed by the jordanians who conquered it at 1948 although it was supposed to be owned by the United Nations and they destroyed most of the Jewish houses, a lot of them um, then when the Israelis came back in 1967 what they did is excavate uh, before they built the new Jewish quarter that's why you um, found here, you can find here lots of uh, uh, um, uh, remains from uh, first century and now you saw the card from the 6th century. And look at the synagogue you see here. That synagogue been destroyed as well. Uh, this is a replica that was built in 2010. And what the Jordanian didn't destroy, of course, is the mosque that was here. Then although it looks like an open a yard court beneath you is amazing museum so it can take you to the first century um, I do have some videos of it uh, and if, you, if it's the first video of mine that you're watching you must understand that I have 19,000 videos of the Holy Land um, the first subscribe my channel and then at my YouTube channel you can find so many videos look for it Everything that you see here, I mean, all the restaurants here are kosher. Pizza with our pepperoni. You cannot mix dairy products with meat. Our falafel, it's falafel, it's usually veggie. Look at the menorah, it's a replica of the menorah from the temple. Some Jews are already ready to take over the Temple Mount, which is today a Muslim place and build a new Jewish temple. Barbecue. No cheese sauce. And even the ATM here is kosher. What? Yeah, it doesn't function at on a Friday and Saturday. From Friday evening until Saturday evening, you cannot use it. This is another synagogue that been destroyed by the Jordanians. And a few years ago, they decided to renovate it and to build it. It's going to be a replica of it, but made of concrete this time. Look at the mezuzah, if you're talking about it. This is, this is a huge one. This is some old photos of uh, Eric Israel in his um, synagogue. They have been destroyed by the Jordanians and they are building it. It's going to be beautiful. Here it is. It's going to be a beautiful uh, synagogue with one of the best viewpoints to the Temple Mount, to Al Aqsa. And everything here is totally kosher. You can see there is a kosher certificate next to every entrance. And you will know that it's kosher. Another kosher certificate at the burger here. It means that that sauce is not cheese. If it's kosher. Remember, you cannot mix dairy products with meat. Holy bagel, 
It's a bagel in the Holy Land. At the Western Wall, I've been asked by EJ and Bethy to bless um, the handkerchief, uh, the scarf that she bought, um, and the mezuzah and the uh, talit. I was talking about the talit who cover the prayer, the man who prays, mainly at the first. Uh, the, the first prayer of the morning and uh, he, will, he will be able to concentrate by that he will be isolated from the word he will be with God only mezuzah you can find it in every uh, entrance of a Jewish house um, we talk about Jewish house that used to be a crusader church a German crusader church 12th century let's go oh, sorry let's continue that building now an elevator because it's difficult for all people to walk all the way down then Soon it will be easier for them to do that. See that we're talking about new place, new stones, and and by law every everything that was built in Jerusalem must be covered with Jerusalem stone. That is before 1948, before the yeshiva had been destroyed, and now they build it again. That's how it looks today. You're gonna be surprised and wait with me, please. Don't disappear. And from here, we will enter to the western wall. Now, the yeshiva that's how we found it. This is after 1967. Ruins. Amazing! Amazing! Let me go. I will be able to explain. You know what? I will do it here. Let's study a little bit about the Western Wall. But before that, you can see the mountain the other side. That place you can see that it's white this is a month of olives and uh, it's covered with a lot of Jewish tombs uh, from the time of King David until now and I don't know if you can see that see that valley behind it I can see it maybe you can see it too there's kind of fading mountains of Moab uh, this is Jordan of today between that and us. It's the Jordanian Desert and the Dead Sea. Mohav, two and a half tribes were there. Today it's part of Jordan. And let's look at that. You can see the western wall of the temple. The corner of the southern wall is there. When King Herod wanted to impress, to build a Jewish a temple in unity, will impress the people. Because the Mount Moriah, which is there, was a small one. Then he couldn't build something big. For that, he built four walls. You can see part of the western wall and then the southern wall. The western wall was longer than that, but 
that is the Muslim quarter that used the western part of it, used the western one that you can see on this small part of it. Then <coughs> he, used, he actually built a four-room plaza. On that, he could build the Jewish temple, which was on top of the foundation stone, uh, the first rock ever, that according to God, uh, when he built the word, he, he started it from there. And that is the place that Abraham almost sacrificed me, Isaac, Tzachi. Then here it is. The Jewish temple was between two to three times higher than the Dome of the Rock. It had been destroyed at 70 AD by the Romans. And until the 7th century, nothing special was on it. Uh, the 7th century, according to tradition, Muhammad reached Al-Aqsa, which is, according to some of the Muslims, is here. And then he walked to the foundation stone, which is now the Dome of the Rock, the Golden Dome, and he ascended into heaven from there. He met God and gave him the five prayers of the day. Then in that case, Although it's the third important place for the Muslims, it's still an important place for the Muslims. Then, now when we know the story of the Western Wall, and we know that the Western Wall is only a foundation of the plaza, not the Holy of the Holy, which is the Dome of the Rock of today, uh, we can go into the Western Wall. Very about you some fiscus like that as well. Um, you gave me option to buy whatever I want. I love colors. Then it's full with colors. Let me show you what we did until now, but for that I need a map. Okay, then this is the map of uh, the city. I started the tour from Mount Zion, from the tomb of King David and the Domitian church in the room of the Last Supper. We entered through the tomb. We saw the Armenian quarter, but I started the, that video when we reached the Cardo. And now we are at the Jewish quarter, heading to the Western Wall. And you can see the, you can see the Temple Mount. And here it is, the Jewish quarter, Armenian quarter, Christian quarter, and Muslim quarter, which is the biggest. And now when you know everything, we will enter to the, um, to the West Wall through a checkpoint. Uh, they will check my bag. And the reason they're doing it is mainly because uh, it's a sensitive area and some people, uh, once a who, I say that they will destroy this place. Then we are checking that they won't destroy the place. Let's do that quickly. This is the barrier part. Okay, we did it. And now we are entering to the plaza. It's Sunday. It's a regular day. Tomorrow it's going to be more crowded than today because of a bar mitzvah ceremonies. Down. A lot of 13 years old uh, boys will be here to celebrate with their families and kind of be happiness and uh, celebration and that will answer the question of why they call it the waiting wall. I don't know. Um, usually I'm waiting here when I'm losing uh, some of my tourists but beside that people are very happy here. There are two in two days, a few days that people are mourning because of the destruction of the Jewish temple, but not more than that. Then, the entrance to the women department is from here. I forgot to mention that ugly wooden bridge is for non-Muslims who want to enter to the Temple Mount. They can do that, but if you are not a Muslim, you can do that only twice a day, five days a week, not including Friday and Saturday. And you cannot go into the Dome of the Rock and an Aqsa mask, but you can actually uh, walk around it. It's beautiful, unless it's hot. Then they did that in January, in, in August. Uh, it's really hot. Then 
the Jews before they entering into the Temple Mount, they are purified themselves. If you are Christian, Jesus deal a lot with the purification. Should we do that? Should not. And um, seven stones from down to up is from the time of King um, King uh, Herod. The rest is from different times. I need a yamoka a keeper to go in. Then let's go. There's a special stand for it. Another option, if you're already here, is to start the um, Westmore Tunnels uh, tour. You must buy tickets in advance. I am guiding an Israeli group at December, and I already bought the last tickets for December. Then you can understand that you must buy it in advance. And the idea is to walk beneath the, Jew, the Muslim quarter and you will see every part of the uh, foundation and of the Western Wall. It's a beautiful tour, it's a guided tour in English as well. And today I will put some notes of Betty, EJ, and uh, others who asked me to do that. Um, but I will put the keeper, the Yamakon head. Remember, the keeper will divide us from God. You see that he's that old man is putting the talit on him, just like I bought to um, EJ. And uh, you can see that they're putting the filling on the head and the left hand. That is what a Jew must do from age 30, must do every day. There's a filling stand here in those boxes that are prayers that God has put it on the head and on the uh, close to the heart. And because it's um, still covered time you see that there are signs that say that masks are required here it is and i will use that chair okay אוקיי, okay, אבל בעיקרון לא צריך לקחת של אנשים. יש לכם חינם שם חופשי, כמה שאתם רוצים. He wanted to write a note, then he took a note of someone else, who told him that he don't need to do that, he just have to go to the stand there, and he will get an empty note and a pen. Yeah. I'm using the camera in one hand and taking out all the souvenirs second hand. And it might be a little bit tricky. Until I will do that, if you want me to do that for yourself, go write me, write me down uh, on the YouTube or go into um, buy me a coffee uh, site and you will get some information about it. Um, it is, I'll take each one of it and I will bless Betty, remember, I'm buying only with beautiful colors, different style. I bought it from an ultra-orthodox women shop and the talit. For EJ, it is. Put it here as well. Then let me take a boop. take a picture of it for you. And the mezuzah as well, which is there. Here's the mezuzah, we'll put it right here. Let me take a picture of it.
and the notes. I think I already talked about it, but you see lots of notes here. The minute you will write down um, something, you put it between the Westmall stones, it's gonna be holly. They will burn it down. Ah, sorry, they won't burn it down, they will take it out of uh, the wall and they will bury it at Mount of Olives. Then your notes will be here forever. And you can see here, Dina, Betty, EJ, and Luis. You asked me to do that as well. And there it is. I'll put the notes. Let me look, let me put it there. And this is it. Now, as I promise, I will pray for the one who asked me to do that, but that's gonna be a private one. And if you want me to pray for you, not a problem at all, but I won't do that in front of the video. I mean, with the video, I don't want people to hear it. It's a private prayer. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.